Washington, D.C. Here in the nation's capital, it's a time of transition as people are eager to see what the next four years will bring. Well, in nearby Olney, Maryland, people there are excited about the future on the football field. That's because one of the nation's top players plays at Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. Jelani Jenkins never walks alone in life. Always by his side is his best friend, a never-ending supply of self-confidence. Confidence is always with him on the high school football field or at home, where he crawls into bed next to this huge mural of himself on his bedroom wall. It was really important for my parents because it just kind of goes back to how my father instilled in me throughout all my life that, you know, that I am I'm great at what I do. And he's given me all these people to look, for, look at and look up to the Hall of Famers. And, you know, he puts my picture up in the back as the biggest one. Which is fitting because in D.C. football, it doesn't get much bigger than Jelani Jenkins. The senior linebacker runs faster than the Metro line. And is harder hitting than a Supreme Court hearing. He's the top ranked linebacker from the class of 2009. And it doesn't take much more than a glance at his highlight film to figure out why. When Jelani was younger, you know, we used to count the people that Jelani would lay out before the game was over. I mean, you, you, at least two, three guys would get knocked out before the game started. And, you know, and I said, Jelani, what are you doing with your body? Why, you know, these guys would just, you know, um, just be knocked out cold, you know. He's explosive and he's powerful. He has a combination of power and speed that you don't see in a lot of people. And he just, he focuses his all his energy when he on on upon contact and he just blows people away. He just believes I can't be beat, I will not be beat, nobody can beat me. But it doesn't come out of his mouth that way. You know, that's just his mindset. You know, I will fight till the end. It's a lethal combination. Someone with the football skills of Lawrence Taylor combined with the mind of a Rhodes Scholar. Jenkins boasts a perfect 4.0 grade point average. His father is a famous architect, his mother a teacher. He's so smart that it's like, you know, a lot of times players that are as athletic as him are lazy mentally because they're so good athletically. And he's not like that at all. You tell him to run a play once and he does it. I've always been instilled that that was, you know, more important than anything. And I know that, you know, if it's not for the academics and, you know, football means nothing. There's a lot of good players out there who are great at football and very athletic, but you know they're not too well in academics, and they're not, they're not able to you know succeed in life. Jenkins' knowledge has its roots in his immense understanding of his family's past. Jenkins took an unusual path to academic success. He took kind of an unorthodox path yes. to his grade school education. Talk about that and why you chose the school you did and how much. Well, we, um, we live in the surrounding D.C. metropolitan area and um, we understand as educators um, the plight of young black men. Um, and they say that by the fourth grade, if a young black man does not know who he is, and where he comes from and the greatness that's inside of him, he could easily go into a path that is self-destructive. That's why Jenkins went to elementary school here at the Roots Learning Center in downtown D.C. It's a tiny school that connects its students back to their African heritage. They wear traditional clothing to class and learn at their own pace. It's still me, like, you know, just to care for who I am and, you know, it gave me an understanding of my background and, I was able to know, know the mistakes my ancestors made and people that came before me. Jenkins eventually ended up at Our Lady of Good Counsel High School, where he is widely regarded as the best linebacker from the class of 2009. But Jenkins knows that his family made him the success he is today. His father and stepfather are good friends, saying the three of them sometimes even throw the football around on hallowed D.C. ground. You see, Jenkins comes from a high-profile lineage. His father is a famous architect who built this lavish house near the shores of the Potomac River. My grandfather was a civil rights leader in the South, and my um, father was a black history teacher. So he always, again, emphasized service and the correlation with your work, your life's work, 
So when you look at the architecture that you see here, it's very um, contemporary. But what I did is I abstract from an African American to African experience. So the big round circle that you see in the, in the front, it means peace and justice. So just what will become of Jelani Jenkins? The nation's top linebacker can obviously have his pick of college programs, but you get the feeling that this recruitment, like everything else about him, will be a little different. I'm not gonna pick my college based on just football. I have to do with academics and, you know, the, the whole environment, the coaches, you know, the style of play. You know, basically, um, you know, go through matrix, look at the academics, um, 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 involvement in the institutions. We're looking at the coaching staff. Jelani Jenkins will be just as good in college as he's been in high school. How do we know? Chalk it up to the power of positive thinking. In Washington, D.C., I'm Mike Rigg.